Free for all on Beehive Metamorphosis by the mapmaker Freakling. Bonneth is in this one. He does like free for alls. LML is in this. Fisheye is in this. And so is Alm. And apparently Quark might just cast. Silly game. I suspect because Bonneth is playing. Well, in deference to uh, BB158 in the chat, I will be uh, expressing no opinions on what I see. I will try to simply stick to the facts. Okay, all players are opening by producing workers. May or may not be good. <laughs> Get out of here, Quark. Uh, yeah, Bonneth is playing color green. So there's some skill gap here. Bonneth is a solid S rank player. Uh, Fisheye, I believe, is a B rank active, wonderful community member. Uh, LML is um, new to A rank, from what I've been told. Another yeah. colorful character. And uh, we got Alm, also new to A rank, I want to say. So Arm is falling behind in the APM game quite uh, quickly. He's already uh, between a half and a third of the APM of the other <laughs> players. Which may or may not be good, there's no way to know. I have no opinion on this. Did someone ask you to cast descriptively and not? Yes. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Uh, it's because uh, apparently I, he doesn't think I'm qualified to uh, judge the uh, Merits of the action take away 2,400 players, but I feel like it's easier when you have vision of everybody. Like you can, you can say that it's not what they should be doing because you can see everything. But you're not. It's not that they're bad that they're doing it because they don't have map hack. Well, Looks like okay. uh, all the players are going to go for quick expansion, which is the correct play on this map. I'm not sure why LML is not taking his backdoor expansion instead. I'm not sure why Fisheye is going straight for them. Like, you don't want to go for the middle in a FIFA. I don't think any of them looked at the map preview. So we know that Alm has played on this map before. But we know and... Adam has played on this map before as well. He was he was yeah, in the same true. game with Alm. Fisheye just uh, going for the middle. He's going to go and uh, try and take them all on at once, which may or may not be a good idea. I have no opinion either way. We encourage freedom of speech here. So be yourself. The LML is also going for the middle of the map, which again, it's it's not necessarily what I would do, but uh, I don't feel qualified to judge whether it's a good play or not. He's also going for free hat before pool, which I do like, but that might not be good. It's uh, in a free field on an island map. Yeah, okay, he's taking a very quick four base, four gases. And if nobody attacks him, there will be a lot of music, I suspect. This is the strategy I would adopt in a free throw. Yeah, just, just expand uh, everywhere and hope. I think Prize yeah. general strategy would work very well on this map in free throws, too. Also, he's on the opposite side of the map to Bonnet, which is going to be helpful. Hmm. Make Bonif attack somebody else, then surprise him with your... Now, Fisheye also taking all the bases, and again, he, I don't know if he knows that he has a free backdoor expansion, so he can just uh, send workers to uh, whenever. Bonif with the quick plus one air, he's going Robo, and it's going to be a... Uh, I'm assuming uh, Corsair and Viva strategy, which it being Bonif is going to be very dangerous. Arm with the double starport may or may not be good. I uh, 
I know Fisheye is going for a cannon defense strategy against uh, the Reavers, and I have no opinion either way on that. Stop that, Gord. I'm surprised that uh, we're not seeing uh, Edamel go towards uh, Spire. I feel like if I were playing an island map with four quick gases, I would want to try and defend them with mutilisks. But uh, it may work for him. There's no way of knowing. It's certainly my my strategy in his place would be to uh, go quick four hatchery uh, into quick uh, uh, mutilisks. Maybe with double spire for upgrades. I don't know if Arm is going for air or not. He's getting uh, machine shop. He's getting armory. He's also getting triple starport with double control tower. There was a science facility at say BCs, but okay, he's going for wraiths. He doesn't have a uh, cloak. The double control tower is what's throwing me. If it was single control tower, I'd say okay, yeah, he's going wraith and he wants cloak. Double control tower. An armory. It's like is this drop ships? Okay, no air weapons. The first spy is on the way. How does LMO? Ha he went three hat before pool. Then he added a fourth hatchery, and he has twenty nine workers. He has the fewest workers in the game. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> you look at this and think, wait a second. How did you end up what? here? What else have you been making? What have all these hatcheries been doing? You have you have more worker production than anybody else, and all you've been making is workers, and yet somehow you don't have that many workers. <laughs> Although Fisheye is 10 workers up on uh, Boneth. Well, admittedly, he's uh, got a Reaver in his base, so it's not great. <laughs> Bonus Reaver appears to be just killing his Nexus, but that's fine, because Fisheye has more Nexus where that came from. He's not worried. It's actually this pretty nice from Bonnet. Seven nexus. minutes, a reaver drop. Transitioning to carriers. Oh, Bonnet's under attack by Wraiths. Let's see how these cannons do defending at these bases against the uh, uh, reaver. So far, not great if I'm honest. But, I mean, maybe they're doing well, maybe they're not. I can't, I can't judge, but it's... I feel like something that wasn't a cannon could be more effective <laughs> against the Reaver. Nobody descriptively casts, man, unless they have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Don't take my only job away. <laughs> Scarabs are uh, attacking the cannons. The cannon at Bonus Base is uh, fought off the Wraiths. And Elamel is still playing single player. He's uh, having <laughs> sunken <laughs> spores. <laughs> He's good. He's happy. He's getting triple Evo for his upgrades. He's, he's not even taking the four gas at the four base. He's, uh, on his, he's good. He still has uh, less workers than anybody but Bonnet. Bonnet somehow has the fewest workers. Alma's doing some nice raids for Ras in the middle. Behind the mineral line. Yeah. Yeah, uh, is just playing single player. He's, nobody's, somehow he had, uh, he's got the lowest supply. And nobody's done anything to him all game. I don't think he's even lost a unit yet. Fisheye's strategy of taking the middle of the map immediately seems to uh, get get him into trouble with both Arm and Barnef. But I can't judge whether that's good or bad. I did note at the start that uh, rushing to take the middle of a map in a free field would probably... Uh, is not optimal, but I mean it might be optimal. There's no, no one knowing. All we know is that his nexus is dead. He does still have two more nexuses, but <laughs> he is going to need them. And out come the Valkyries. Plus one air mass Valkyrie. <laughs> that I mean, of course now 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 I see it. It was obvious. Control tower, armory, triple star. <laughs> it it was always going to be mass Valkyrie. It's it's obvious. I've been a fool. 
Probably anticipating bonus carriers. Well, Bonif is getting D-Web and Corsairs. It's going to be Reavis there. Oh, Shadow gets away. Bonif is too quick for him. Oh, is the Shadow going to get away? Yes, it is. Oh, are the cannons going to stop the uh, Reaver? No, cannons are not going to stop the Reaver. I say that cannon gets the last hit. Fisheye is rebuilding his main nexus too, so he's uh, he's fine. And he's also discovered that he has a backdoor base that he could take. Maybe he's banking that base till later. Maybe he's going to mine out the middle, then just abandon it and retreat to his corner. The mass Valkyrie are doing Valkyrie things. Turns out that nobody else is in the air, so they're they're not being <laughs> super effective, but maybe one day they can be. Plus one attack on them. Yeah, LML is still playing single player. He's got Hive done. Love it. <laughs> Nobody's attacked him. He's just... Making drones. I don't know if he knows this is a free for all. I think he's just having fun. Just sitting in his corner of the map, just doing his own thing. I don't think I've ever seen him play Zerg. <laughs> Oh, Fisheye is also just doing his own thing. Fisheye is just taking his bases, having... He's not destroying the Cerebrates. Now, that might be good, it might be bad. All we know is that uh, there are Cerebrates, and if he destroyed them, he could link up his multiple bases. But uh, up beyond that, I have no views on the matter. All right, who in the chat created this monster? It was D158. He might not even be watching anymore. It might be too much of him. Okay, we do have double spire from LML. He's getting his greatest fire. And Bonif is still at it with the Reavers. Oh, nice connections. Reavers still outrange the cannons. It's like Bonif lost 9 o'clock. He did. He, well, he never took it. He built a pile on there. So Bonif's actually going to mine out on these carriers. It's the thing. It's Bonif is actually, I think, in the worst position here. This guy has plenty of resources on his part of the map because he can, uh, if he gets chased out of the middle, it's, it's fine. He, he never wanted that. He's, his main still has plenty of money in it because he strategically lost his main right at the start. That's uh, That was the high level lose your main nexus play. And he can take another nexus in the bottom right. Oh, we got some out finally. Running into the Valkyries. Let's see how they do. Oh Not great. <laughs> Just evaporated. However, uh, once uh, LML builds some Zerglings, those tanks are going to be ineffective because Valkyries cannot shoot the ground. Fisheye is now falling far behind with his strategy of taking on everybody at once. He's taking some Bonif aggro, he's taking some Alm aggro. Only person who hasn't attacked him is LML, but that's because LML's a pacifist. Who's building queens. He's got Zerglings, and these are siege tanks. I feel like he could probably win this fight. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's not attacking the two tanks with Zerglings. Oh, because he's got Queens. 148 energy. Come on, Queens, you can do this. There we go. Here it, here it comes. Oh, but now there are new tanks. <laughs> okay. However, nothing can stop the 1 1 Valkyries. Except maybe for Devourers. We have plus 1 Flyer Caravus. You fool arm, you you attacked into the devourers. <laughs> it's two players who've only built have built units that attack air against air, and the only thing they can do is fight each other. It's true. Fisheye has uh, lost the middle of the map, but that's okay because he's taken his uh, that door expansion and he's building scouts. 
So Bonif has just uh, his mind that uh, is uh, basically mind up main. His natural's low. He's taken this new base in the middle, but it's not worth that much because of uh, Fisheye having already stolen half the minerals. Oh, we get to see Corsairs against uh, Valkyries. That age-old uh, struggle. Got battle cruisers now. Nice upgrades. I'm looking forward to seeing the scouts against the carriers. Carriers have no armor upgrade. They do have some Corsairs to uh, guard them. We have just six scouts. It's not enough. Oh, and he's showing them as well. That's no good. And the scout movement upgrade isn't finished. It's only two thirds of the way done. Okay, this fish turned into two one v ones. Oh, here come the scouts. Is it Carrie going to go down? 40 health, 20, 18? No, Carrie is not going down. Okay, Bonif has won the first 1v1. Although I feel like Fisheye could have uh, dragged it out a little bit longer. And if he had dragged it out a little bit longer, that would have uh, helped the other two. LML's banked 5k minerals, as you do. I feel like he should just do a crackling drop with 5k minerals. It's See, the problem is that now that two at the top are still doing a 1v1, but Bonif has all the bases. Oh my god, LML has 5,000 minerals. Hmm. Does this maybe expand everywhere? Our casting is open to the public in case anybody wants to co-cast any games with us. Just jump into the open casting channel of our Discord where I'm sharing my screen, and you can go cast. You can be serious and knowledgeable, take things lighthearted and have fun. Looks like Alm is going to be winning these air battles. He's got some sweet ass upgrades. A carry is built up. Now we got an Arbiter with the Carriers. I don't know if Alm and LML should be killing each other. They got some pretty sweet air units. Probably be good to attack Bonneth with them, maybe. Oh, we got a drop from LML.
And he's gonna pay for it. Lose all his overlords. Links are doing some damage. But I think the BCs are gonna clean it up. Nobody really has an answer to the carriers. I don't even know if they know about the carriers. They know Bonneth is in the game. So they should expect carriers. And Bonneth looks like he's going to be heading out just in time when LML and Alm have pretty much exhausted each other. Is he barring his lanes? Looks like it. And here's Bonneth to clean up. DC's coming in. LML with 7,500 minerals, that's a record. Alm is gonna tap out, and so does LML. Or he's saying GG to Alm. Yeah, I don't think it's impossible to counter carriers, just plague, units. All right, so what's the plan? We got a bunch of queens. I feel like what we've seen here is different players going for different kinds of victory. Like we saw Fisheye go for the middle of the map, trying to like just uh, hold a very central position, going for like a cultural diplomatic victory. <laughs> we saw uh, LML going for four hatcheries, uh, four bases going for the economic victory. Bonneth going straight for the military victory, win condition. And I don't know that there's any like wrong way to play. <laughs> he can't see those carriers, can he? That's going to make this difficult. See the interceptors. Actually, you can see the ensnared ones. Yeah, that's true. There's the GG. Free for all on Beehive Metamorphosis. Quark's favorite map. Yep. I think with that, I might have to go to bed. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having the uh, show matches. Was, Hopefully uh, we'll get the uh, old cork back. <laughs> Should DB159 wouldn't mind. So my best to Quark Jr. Will do. Big shout out to all the uh, baby daddies out there. 